my finances are doing pretty good, so I no longer have to cook uh, budget. I can cook like I did in the 1990s. I will be making roasted asparagus with Dijon vinaigre. It's a French dish. I used to make this a lot in the 1990s. 24 fresh asparagus spears. I already preheated the oven to uh, 500. So let's go ahead and do what it says. Snap off and discard woody bases of asparagus spears. Let's get the garbage can over here. I preheated the oven to 500, like I said. Okay. I just made me some soup stock. I have this and I made it. I won't be using all of this. I'm going to be using some of it for this recipe and then some of it for pork lo mein, which I might make tomorrow. Okay, so let's just put that over here. Snap off the wooden bases. Okay, there we go. Put that over there. Let me make sure this is all on the video. Yeah, let's see. Let's get a little bit closer. There we go. Okay, so we snap off the wooden bases. There we go. I'm not sure if I have exactly 24, but uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah. Ooh, this one is. Hmm. This must be an older one. <laughs> okay. All right. So that's that one. That one's kind of rough. Okay. One, two, three. We'll just use them all. I haven't been too impressed with the produce in the past year. Oh my goodness, that just fell right off. Okay. Wow, the wooden bases must be uh, going up a bit on this. All right. There. Okay. Yeah, in my uh, in the 1990s, I cooked French, Italian, Japanese, Chinese, and um, German, and I did. I basically had middle class income, so I cooked like middle class income, and I'm kind of like where I, that's where I'm at right now. So I'm like asparagus is a little bit more expensive vegetable, but um, hey, I'm in a position now where I can afford it, so I'm going for it. <laughs> Um, it'll give me more variety in my diet. Um, the only problem is in the area where I live, Asian food's a little hard to find, so I'm going a little more European. Okay, so we got the, the wooden bases off. Okay, let's see what it says to do next. The next thing you do is, okay, spray asparagus with vegetable oil spray. Let me see if I, I don't think I have vegetable oil spray. Let me check. I did have that in Florida, but I didn't, I forgot to buy it. That's okay. Um, let me use, um, let's go ahead and use canola oil. Whoops. And uh, I think I'm going to have to be creative here. Basically, I just want to coat it with some oil. for the vegetable oil spray is to keep it uh, keep the oil light this will work <laughs> just use my fingers <coughs> allergies making me cough kind of like coating each asparagus spear with some oil. The purpose is not to, it's, this is from the American Heart Association Around the World Cookbook, which has some really delicious recipes in them. And they kind of are kind of low calorie, which I like, because when you get to be my age, <laughs> you know, it's harder to keep the weight off. So let me just go ahead and uh, 
You have to be creative sometimes, you know. <laughs> this will work. And I can feel it's the oils getting on the asparagus beer, so. Okay. Yeah, a little bit of oil. Vegetable oil spray wouldn't be a lot of oil anyway. <laughs> okay. Let's do this again. I'm going to put a little bit more oil on there. I put it in a... I think this would be better. Yeah. Kind of spread it around. Just for flavor, you know. I'm thinking olive oil might have been better, but that's okay. <laughs> and then once I'm done with this, I'll put it in the 500 degree oven for uh, 10 minutes. Like I said, you got to be creative when you don't have all. You're going to go by, and, uh, usually if the recipe calls for vegetable oil spray, I just do stuff like this, you know? Just be creative. <laughs> this will work. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and put it in the 500 degree oven for 10 minutes. All right. We're going to go ahead and work on other parts of the recipe now. To get one fourth teaspoon grated lemon zest. This is an organic lemon because they didn't have any other kind at the store. <laughs> okay, um, one fourth teaspoon grated lemon zest. I'll make it. These look like Italian lemons that I used to watch on uh, Rick Steves when he traveled to Italy. <laughs> Those Italians are, have some really good food. This looks like about a fourth teaspoon, actually. We are there. Yeah, I'm going to save this lemon for later. Let me see. That looks like it's about a fourth teaspoon. I already, uh, I had, I bought two lemons. Looks like about a fourth teaspoon. And it's going to all go in here, so and we're going to shake it up in a jar. Um, This is an eighth teaspoon, so I need to fill that up twice. Yep. And we're going to stick it in here because we're going to shake out for everything together in here. Oh, it looks like I might need to grate some more. Let me check. It's one eighth. Oh, I think I got it right. Perfect. And a little bit more. <laughs> Oops, wrong side. A little bit more. There we go. Okay, we gotta get. Just put it all in there. Ah. Put it all in there. That's about one fourth. In the 1990s, when I made this, I used olive oil spray because I was uh, really big into Italian cuisine back then. 
The French and Italian cuisine have some similarities. They usually both like olive oil, but the canola will work. All right. All right, that's good enough. Um, for the zest. Okay. The next thing I have to do One tablespoon lemon juice, fresh lemon juice. That's this right here. I've already, this was from yesterday. I used the lemon juice for um, pasta primavera, which is a recipe I've already made. There we go. A video for. Okay. Um, one tablespoon low sodium chicken broth. That's from here, which I already made. So let's go ahead and throw that in there. A tablespoon low sodium chicken broth. There we go. Might throw in a little bit more. That's good. I'm going to save this for tomorrow for my pork lo mein. Yep. Okay. All right. Um, ah, Three-fourths teaspoon Dijon mustard. Three-fourths teaspoon Dijon mustard. Okay. So here's a one-teaspoon measuring cup. That's about right. Okay. And let's see. Half teaspoon of olive oil. Now let's get olive oil. Here it is. Okay. Half teaspoon of olive oil. get about half of this. That'll work. Okay. All right, so zest, juice, broth, mustard, olive oil, dash of black pepper. Dash of black pepper. Dash of black pepper. That'll work. Okay. Shake it all together. So that's what we're doing. Let me see if it's time to take it out of the oven yet. We've got three more minutes. Okay, let's check it out. Cover and shake until well combined. So when I when the I need to put the asparagus on a lettuce lined serving plate. Well, I can get that ready. Ha ha. Yeah, lettuce lined serving plate. Hey, you know you I do have lettuce that I could use, so let, let's go ahead and do that. Ha ha. Lettuce lined serving plate. This will work. Yeah. This will be, I'm going to use my pie, pie pan. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I've got some lettuce I can use. I need to use the lettuce anyway. This is great. Here it is, romaine hearts. Lettuce wine serving plate. Yeah.
Yeah, it's giving me an excuse to use a lettuce. Ah, that one's no good. <laughs> I need to use it. I need to use it. That's enough lettuce. Okay, I think it's time to take it out. So let's go ahead and do that. Check. Yep, time to take it out. Over here and let you see what it looks like. <laughs> Here's what it looks like looked like when I took it out of the oven. Hmm, I think I'm gonna go ahead and bring that plate over here. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and put this on the lettuce lined serving plate. like it's cooked just perfect. All right. All right, let's go ahead and bring it over to this table. Okay. So now, drizzle vigna gray over asparagus and toss gently to coat. Um, let me uh, put this back on his. Okay, I've got a tripod here. <laughs> Toss gently to coat. Let's use a fork for that. So we're going to drizzle the vinaigre. Yeah, this would be good with lettuce. All right. That looks interesting, eh? <laughs> okay. And now I will try it and let you know how it is. This is a French dish. Roasted asparagus with Dijon vinaigre. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that right, but let's try it let's see how it goes okay it's been a while since i've made this but i remember it was good mmm delicious it's really good mm-hmm <laughs> good mm. I will post this. There will be a link to the recipe underneath the video. It's actually part of my um, um, a PDF file that I made for the American Heart Association Around the Cookbook. Um, some of my favorite recipes from there. The book is out of print. I don't know why it has great recipes. Mmm. Good. Mmm, have some lettuce too. <laughs> mm. 
Delicious. Tastes French too, I can tell. Delicious. 